Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to answer the question of whether a $29 Logitech keyboard from Walmart is any good. Now right off the bat, I'm going to tell you if you're like a professional gamer or something, definitely no. But if you're a student or if you just need something for your home office or even if you have a business and you need something for inside your office there, then I think this will do and it'll last you a good while for basic tasks. So just so you know, this came as a combo with the keyboard and mouse, $29 Canadian in total, like I said. And I was looking all over the box to find out the name of this thing. And the only thing the box says is Logitech Wireless Combo. So I'm pretty sure that's the name, Logitech Wireless Combo. In order to connect this to your PC, they give you a Wi-Fi dongle. All you have to do is plug this into whatever device you're using and it should connect right away. I've tried it with both Windows computers and Android devices and both of them are just plug and play. I'm not 100% sure about Apple devices though. I like simple looking tech. For example, I'm a fan of MacBooks because they're not busy. So I actually like the look of this thing and I think the gray on black looks very good. The material itself is plastic. Both the keyboard and the mouse are made of the exact same plastic and it feels cheap. It weighs almost nothing, almost feels hollow. The keys themselves have no resistance. Like they feel very, very mushy. However, they get the job done. As you can see, the back of the device, not much going on either. We got the risers on the left and the right. Those are adjustable, just so you know, so you can have the keyboard laying flat as well. We also have the battery slot, and this takes two AAA batteries to work. The mouse, even though it's made out of the same material as the keyboard, I, I think it feels a little more premium than the keyboard. The mouse itself is pretty light and hollow feeling. However, the buttons have a pretty good click to them and the scroll wheel is pretty firm. Um, I have no complaints about those. Like they don't feel like uh, they're gonna break on you right away. At the bottom of the mouse, we got the battery cover and this takes one AA battery to work and we also have the on off button. Moving back to the front of the keyboard, we have a on off button as well as a caps lock light. Now, I paid $39 for a Microsoft keyboard, which I was using before this, and that didn't have a caps lock light. And that really bugged me because you don't realize how important the caps lock light is until you don't have it. And you need it for everything, like putting in passwords or just typing something like it's a headache if you don't know whether your caps lock is turned off or on. So for $29, the fact that this has the light, that's just a bonus. I don't even use the Microsoft keyboard anymore, even though technically that does feel a little more premium. They also give you a nice combination of quick, uh, I'm not sure what to call these, quick access buttons, I guess. For example, you got your play button, you got your mute, volume controls, and they give you also some more control over your PC. For example, if you have a quick key for your calculator, with which I actually use a lot, you have the home button and options to turn off your PC or access your email client. And that's pretty much it guys. I know this wasn't a long review, but there really isn't much to talk about. Short, if you just need something that's going to get the job done, I think this will be a good budget option. I use this almost every other day and I use it for video editing, uh, writing documents, etc. And I've been using it for three months like I said, almost every other day, and it's been fine. It's totally functional, very responsive. Yes, it doesn't feel premium at all, but it works and it does what it's supposed to do. And I've had no issues with it as far as something breaking on me or something not working, none of that so far. So I'm very happy with this product. So again, if you're a professional gamer or something, no, but if you just need this for school or for your home office or something, a definite yes. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to my channel if this video helped you out. Give this video a like if you enjoyed this. Um, I try to post tech related videos every week and hopefully I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.